What is up guys, it's your boy here, Jersey Flex. Today I got a special little video for you guys. I wanna be doing a review on one of these products by Vintage Muscle, Wind Test. It is a anabolic substance that is actually legal to purchase and use. So it was only about a matter of time before I ended up making a video about this product right here. It's something that I keep uh, inside my prep cabinet uh, just to help me get leaner, drier, and harder. And I'm gonna go into more detail discussing this product and how it works and how I found that it worked for me. Just go down, crush that subscribe button. We're gonna roll that freaking intro video and get this video started, guys. Roll that intro. Boom. Maybe it's a new beginning. Maybe it's the start of where it ends. I know, I know. There's no going back and I'm loving the, I'm loving the chase. So as you guys do know, I am an HTLT sponsored athlete. Um, it's basically the supplement line that I use for uh, all my preps, all my you know like meal replacements. I use their whey protein and stuff like that. Not that you should be substituting meals, but in the event that I need a shake, a great tasting shake with quality proteins, I always go with HTLT. Um, they've been very good to me, a very good trusted brand by Greg Doucette, none other. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below where you guys can go check that out. Browse through their supplement line and if you guys are interested, you guys can try them out yourselves. But today's video, we're gonna be discussing wind test. Kinda of let that focus in so you guys can see. So um, I'm gonna bloop up a photo right here showing the wind test, uh, the label that's on the back and I'm going to read it all off to you. So, take one ML daily vintage muscle anabolic series features the most potented form of legal anabolics on the market with a molecular structure that allows superior absorption of ingredients resulting in the acceleration of the muscle building process maximizing your muscle growth. Now, if we look a little bit further down, we can see the warning sign. Warning, this product should only be used by healthy adults. Do not use if you are at risk of or being treated for diabetes, liver problems, or high blood pressure. Consult your doctor, your healthcare professional before using any dietary supplements. Keep out of reach of children. So, I'm going to dive into explaining what I personally experienced from using this product as well as what you guys could expect from using this product. I am somebody who has used both real Winstrol and this pseudo steroid anabolic compound which is basically a precursor to Winstrol in your body. So it'll provide similar responses, similar effects to actual Winstrol while avoiding some of the major toxicity aspects of real Winstrol. So that's something I do want to point out. This is a much safer alternative to using actual Winstrol with a lot of similar effects of actually taking Winstrol in that respect. So something I do want to point out, because um, a lot of people do know that in the earlier days, and I did make a separate video discussing Winstrol, that is also on my channel if you guys are interested on checking that out. And again, if I haven't mentioned it before, go down, crush that subscribe button. That's what keeps this channel going. I'm more than thankful for all the love and support that you guys give. So yeah, the video on Winstrol will kind of tell you everything you need to know about Winstrol itself. This product does deliver a very similar type of response to Winstrol. The only difference in mind that you guys have to keep is that this is a precursor. So it may take a certain amount of time for this product to build up in your system to turn and convert into Winstrol or DHT. Winstrol is basically DHT, dehydrotestosterone. So if you are sensitive to like hair loss in any kind of way, this is personally nothing, not something that I would recommend just because dehydrotestosterone is something that does contribute to hair loss. So I do have to put that out there. I have to be as transparent as possible, not showing any favoritism to 
any product, that is something that is just known about Winstrol itself, that it is a DHT derivative. So that's just something to keep in note. Also, it did mention on here anything about blood pressure or liver problems or anything like that. Generally with anything that is oral. So um, that's not to scare you guys away. Take for instance, Tylenol. Tylenol is something that is ingested orally because it has oral bioavailability, same as this product or any type of oral. Uh, regular Winstrol as well. So basically what happens is it goes to the liver because it's a methylated product and it has to become water soluble in order to be excreted through the kidneys in the end. So anything that's oral is gonna have some form of liver toxicity, but um, if you can compare this to a daily drinker, someone who's having a six pack of beer every single day, definitely drinking is a lot worse than taking this product. So that's something to kind of hopefully reassure you guys about the safety of that. So, cause I know that's a big uh, issue with a lot of people. They start thinking about liver issues. So, and second to that, the whole blood pressure thing, that's generally gonna be common with any form of testosterone booster, whether it's an anabolic steroid or if it's something that's legal on the market, such as a testosterone booster or something as so, which is a precursor to anabolic activity. Whenever you are increasing any form of anabolic activity in the body, spikes in cholesterol will happen. The good cholesterol will go down, bad cholesterol will go up. So that being said, this is a product. So um, to be on the safer side, I will recommend that you guys get your blood work done before during and after the same as you would with a steroid cycle because this product is pretty potent i will say that um like i said it is very comparable to real winstrol and for those of you guys who haven't watched the winstrol video i'll kind of break down some of the stuff that you should know about winstrol it should typically be not ran for more than six to eight weeks that's kind of like a max so this right here is a 30-day supply. Um, uh, sorry, I'm, this is a 60-day supply. So you have two milliliters uh, is one serving, and there are 30 of them. You should have one milliliter daily. So that's 60 days in one bottle that you are going to have. Um, that's basically the maximum time anybody should run it for, in my opinion, and take a two month break afterwards with the PCT. Um, PCT should have something along with liver support, kidney support, um, stuff to regulate blood pressure and things like that. That's just the healthy way of going about it. Now to give some perspective, there are people that take this stuff with no PCT whatsoever and they are 100% perfectly healthy and fine. Does that mean that I recommend taking this without a PCT? Absolutely not. So um, I'm going to bloop up some competition photos and videos of myself right here. Bloop. you guys can kind of see what I look like when I'm shredded and whatnot ready for a bodybuilding show. This right here is something I really recommend to kind of put the icing on the cake sort of speak because it dries you out. So basically anybody who hasn't participated in a bodybuilding show or prepping a physique in any kind of way might not be familiar with the fact that you store water underneath the subdermal level of your skin and that can kind of prevent you from looking shredded in any kind of way. So similar to real wind straw, it'll help pull out some of that water that's kind of just chilling inside of your subdermal level of your skin. This will basically prevent you from looking hard, shredded and jacked and juicy that you probably want to look. You want to look hard, grainy, vascular, that whole thing. Win test will definitely help you achieve that look that you're going for. Um, that in mind, some of the things that you guys have to be a little careful with, 100% transparency without showing any favoritism. You have to hydrate well, even though it's pulling water out of your system, you don't want to put extra stress on your kidneys. You're going to be dehydrated if you don't hydrate well while taking this product. That's something you should know. Take joint support. 
Number two, take your glucosamine, take all that fish oil, hydrate well because dry joints can lead to tendon pain and you know elbow, shoulder pain, that kind of stuff, especially if you're lifting and training heavy. So be careful with that. I just have to put that out there because dry joints can lead to injury. So something to keep in mind. Uh, is that a reason to be scared off and not take this product? Absolutely not. It's just something to be mindful of that dry joints is something that can produce pain. So, but it's the look that you're going for. If you want to look dry and hard and vascular, you're going to look the most aesthetic you've ever looked. So it's kind of like a price you got to pay just to look that kind of way. This product will definitely help you achieve that. That's why it's something that I'll typically recommend for somebody who's getting ready for like summer body, uh, getting ready for a bodybuilding show, getting ready for a photo shoot. Anybody who's trying to diminish and shrink their fat cells, because like I mentioned, it pulls water. Let me kind of explain a little bit better what that means. Okay, so your fat cells are basically composed of water and energy units, stored energy that was not burned. You know, basically energy that you consumed and didn't burn, it gets stored in your fat molecules. These fat molecules not only do they expand when there's calories, you know, energy stored inside of them, but also when there's water inside of them, they expand. So if you pull the water out of them, they shrivel up kind of like a dried sponge. That's what this does. So it'll kind of make you appear like you've lost a lot of fat and you look drier and harder. Basically any water retention beneath your skin will kind of just, you know, dry up. So that's what this product does. Definitely something to put the icing on the cake, something I definitely do recommend. As well, the same way that regular Winstrol will give you strength gains and muscle gains, this product will also do the same as it is a precursor to that type of activity. You can expect to build muscle as well as get strength gains while keeping in mind that your joints may get dry, something to just be careful about. Um, it'll also give you a shredded kind of look. So definitely this is a product I would recommend more for the on season, somebody trying to look good on the beach, that type of thing. So um, I think that basically covers everything I said. Oh, one other recommendation I do have is to just take like milk thistle. While you take this, this is something I would recommend, excuse me, taking milk thistle with just to protect the liver just to make sure that no toxins are kind of just sitting around inside of you. Drink a gallon of water a day minimum just to kind of help stay hydrated because this is going to pull out a lot of water. Also, it's going to be good for your kidneys and everything else to be functioning properly. Um, and yeah, so milk thistle, gallon of water a day, one ml a day. And trust me, you're definitely going to be looking a lot more shredded and a lot harder with this. You're going to notice the pumps and gains in the gym. This is definitely a product I personally recommend. Let this focus in. Wind Test by uh, Vintage Muscle. Definitely something to check out and keep inside your cabinet for preps, summertime, and all that great stuff. If you feel like this video helped you out, go down, crush that subscribe button, stay tuned. This is your boy, Jersey Flex. Now let's roll that freaking outro video. You heard? Boom. No!